Hey guys, it's John from The Busycast. I am joined by Martin Waller, who is an incredible painter. And we have a series of videos, um, all based around models he's entered into the Golden Demon painting competition. Uh, this is the second video in the series, so make sure you watch them all. I've put them all in the playlist to make it easier for you guys to check out. And we also have a battle report um, with his Dark Eldar army, so make sure you watch that as well. So we're now going to be talking about a Space Marine model, which is the second model you've entered into a Golden Demon yeah, competition. Sure. Yeah, I've uh, entered three models in, uh, it was 2011. Okay. Um, so I entered three models into the competition. Yeah. Uh, there was the Arachnarch Spider, the large scale Space Marine, and uh, an Orc that went into 40k monster, okay. uh, which didn't get anywhere. Um, so yeah, it was, um, you know, ever since I was a kid, when I was involved with the hobby, you know, before the world released their big large scale models, and I was like, I must must have that and sort of speak to my mum and say, Mum, can I have a hundred pound resin space marine? So she told me to go forth and um, you know, that was that. But obviously, you know, back into the hobby with a job, you know, I can afford to go and get yeah. those things, you know, that, that I always wanted as a kid. So uh, I did the uh, the large scale space marine. Uh, I wanted to do them slightly different because, you know, sort of stock stood there with his bulk and his helmet looked a bit uh, a bit samey, yeah. yeah. There's obviously that category of Golden Demon tends to be versions of that same model, okay. Um, which is why they've scrapped it, I think. But, um, but yeah, so I decided to do something you know a bit different in the uh, in the Death Company Marine, altered the pose slightly, so I've twisted the arm around uh, and used a different head because the head that comes with the kit is is a bit sort of big and a bit clunky, mm -hmm. and it's a bit like a it's a bit like a frog. So okay. um, we um, changed the head. Uh, and got like a little resin blank that I sort of sculpted some features on. Oh, wow. So, okay. so there's a bit um, of sculpting work on there. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, not, not too much, but yeah, um, yeah it's a little bit. Uh, and then obviously, you know, sort of move the, move the pose around. Uh, and again, you know, this is before sort of, you know, I moved sort of airbrushing and stuff, so there's a lot of stippling, um, glazing, and a lot of sort of work of rattle pans and stuff as well. And the, the chipping uh, was done with the hairspray method. Okay. Uh, so I sort of painted it all silver and, you know, weathered it all. Sprayed it with hairspray and added rock salt to it, mm -hmm. so it looked like a sort of weird sort of blob of, of you know, covered in salt. And then um, sprayed in black, then chipped off each individual bit of rock salt. Yeah, which left you know as much as I'd love to try and sort of try and get irregular sort of shapes for chips and stuff. You're never going to be able to do no. it as, as good as as good as sort of you know real irregular chipping. So yeah, sort of flicked off all the salt and then yeah, I was left with. Um, Left with that, so yeah, worked out, worked out quite well. Very cool. So what, uh, with this model, what would you say your biggest takeaway was in terms of learning something from that? Um, I think sticking to a theme is probably key. Right. Uh, especially when you're entering something like Golden Demon, you know, if you, you have an idea in your head and it's got to make sure it's, you know, IP compliant with Games Workshop because at the end of the day it's their competition. Yeah. You know, if you're going with something that's, you know, not strictly Games Workshop canon. Yeah. You know, it's not really going to get very far, no matter how good it's painted. Uh, so with the uh, the Blood Angel and the Death Company, I wanted to make sure that you know, sort of, I immersed myself into that, you know, into that knowledge and that sort of lore and canon. Uh, so yeah, did a lot of research around Death Company. Uh, the Blood Angels Codex had been released not long before that, so you know that was quite a, a wealth of knowledge. Um, so yeah, just making sure that you know everything was 100% accurate, uh, even to the little nameplate at the front. Um, so yeah, just to make sure you can really set the scene. That's, yeah, that's really interesting. Cool, so that's it. That's the uh, large scale marine model. This is obviously part of a series of videos on golden demon models. So if you guys can check them all out, that'd be awesome. We also have a battle report, so make sure you watch that. If you guys can like, comment, subscribe as well. Always amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers guys. Cheers.